Hey, what's going on? My name is Bebop, and today I'm going to show you how to use a controller on New World. Uh, a lot of times when I'm going to use a controller and I mention it to people in the lobbies, they're like, what controller? How are you using a controller? Blah, blah, blah. So I thought I'd bring a video out and show how to set it up in Steam to where you can do everything you need to do on a controller instead of playing with a mouse and keyboard. If you want to sit back and relax, maybe farm, maybe run some dungeons on, you know, while laying down and set up and, you know, hunched over on your mouse and keyboard. We'll get into that right now. Here you got the Steam menu, and you can click there, go to settings, go down to controller, select whatever controller you use. I've, I've set up two. I've set up one for myself, which is a PlayStation 5 controller right here, and I've set up a Elite controller. So just come in here and select that isn't everything you need to do because you'll get in the game and notice it still doesn't work correctly. When you plug a controller in, this icon of a controller will pop up next to your manage button. When you click that icon for the controller, it's going to pop up this menu. Now, what you can do is click here and you can see community, um, you know, versions that you can download that people have already done to set up how they like it at different times. So some of them might be old, but you feel free to click download and try them out. Um, I tried out one, didn't like it at all. So I figured I'll just learn it and do it myself. So that's what mine is. And let's see, let's get out of that menu. Let's go to edit layout. All right. So here's how I have mine set up the X buttons uh, jump. We got the three abilities. And over here, now I set this up on the PTR when we had the mounts. So X key was my mount. So I would just hit left uh, bumper and I would get on the mount. If I hold it down, I can place a camp. Now you can actually even click this and you can add an extra command if you want. And then it's going to say, well, what are extra you know button you want to press let's just say l all right um now since i added l let's see where we are yeah right here you know if you press both of them at the same time it's going to want to do both these commands x and l because you don't have see how this one says long press well that you can do the same thing you could say double tap so here's the different presses you could do regular press double long start press release press soft press analog button cord i don't know Let's say double press. All right. So now I can do three actions on one button in, you know, three different ways. So just regular clicking would do one thing. Long press would do the other and double press will do the same thing. That's what I have set up. Let me get rid of this before I end up um, keeping it. Guess we're about to learn how to get rid of the command here. Do 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 remove command. Boom. Right there in front of my face. All right, so we removed that, so I don't want that messing me up. But as far as my potions, three, four, and five, I'll have on the right one. So I hit it once for my health potion, which is in three slot. I hit it twice for my uh, infused regen. And then if I hold it down, I'll start chomping on hardy mill. And so the start button I have is caps locks key. Tap key is the... Um, so... Basically, it's a start, select, and then speaker buttons, what I use. My speaker button, I have, press it right here. So when I'm playing, I can press that. It's my heart room. So that's the easiest way i found to uh, do it. Now, if we go to the D-pad, what I put on my D-pad is uh, weapon one up, weapon two down. My left is the left mouse click, which is, oh, to put my weapon away, the sheath my weapon. So that way I can run faster. And then right is ward pot. So I take my, you know, ward potion before I go into a big mob, which I guess that's going to be gone when the update happens here in a few days. And so that's very easy to click. Like I said, you would just click it. If it starts, you have a gamepad or whatnot, just click where the binding is that you want to do. So it would be on the keyboard, select the two slot. Boom, there it is. And you would just save it. The triggers, um, I just left how it was don't need to change it now i know on the ps5 we have haptic trigger so you if you barely press down it'll do one thing if you press it all the way down, you can do another thing i just put it as it is what it is and i wouldn't mess with that i don't know what else you would need it for all right uh joysticks so for me um the right stick when i'm going around looting or whatnot or picking up a bag i just click it down once if i want to crouch walk click it twice so you'll just have to set that with whatever bindings you have. And of course the left stick's gonna be the w, uh, WSAD. And if I click down, it'll be shift. So that's my dodge. So 
I can move all around with the left stick and then click down for dodge. Seems to work really well for me. Track pads, you can go in there and mess with that if you want. Don't have any need for it in gyro. So that's basically how you'd set it up. And it's real simple. Then you just get in the game. And, you know, now I would definitely adjust your uh, settings on looking around. You know, there's no aim assist. So if you're a bow player or whatnot, you might have to go in there and mess with any uh, slowdown settings or whatnot. But to me, I don't do PvP on controller. Uh, I think... <laughs> You're at a severe disadvantage, especially with aim. But you can roll around, jump. Um, you can press start and get you to, into your inventory. I did have it set up where I could actually quick salvage. But since I moved, um, you know, a certain button earlier to uh, accommodate something else, then I can't quick salvage. I'd have to go back and reset it. Because I was trying to think, what did I even set for control? Because I don't have controls set in my binding. So anyways, it was for quick salvage. But... The one thing I'm trying to figure out is you come to the menu here and you want to zoom out. A lot of times when you click the map, I mean, you're like this. So then I got to reach for the mouse and click out or scroll wheel out. Now you can still be on the um, controller how I am right now. And you can click, you know, if you want to fast travel somewhere or you click the right trick, hold it down, uh, right trigger and hold it down and move the uh, right uh, thumbstick to view different parts of the map so you can fast travel and you just basically do that recall the house so pretty simple um if you're new to control our new world it's awesome because i like to sit back like this as you probably see me in my stream oh i'm already half asleep uh or i got my sofa couch behind me and i am just laid out chilling and then I can just sit here and run a controller and no one's the wiser. Now, if I'm doing a speed run, obviously I'm going to have respect for everybody and uh, or a score run and, and not do that because you're going to be way more accurate and, and quick response with the mouse and keyboards, how the game was made to play Just up here. And um, so I would say use it if you're farming. It's huge. Um, other than that, if you have any questions or concerns or uh, if you find out how to do the uh, scroll ability, let me know. I'm going to be trying to figure that out tonight. Other than that, I just want to make a quick video on how to use a controller. If you're new, like, comment, and subscribe if you want. I'm going to be streaming a lot more, especially with the update. I do have a speedrun team that I play with on the NICE server, and uh, that's during the daytime. And then at nighttime, I'm usually on, um, oh, man, what is that server? Uh, Marma. And on there, just hanging out, chilling, regular runs, no, no sweat. So... All right. Yeah, that's about it. Uh, have a great day and uh, look forward to seeing you on the update. Later.